it's Zena, a Warthog Princess, and welcome to another What's in My Bag video. Today is March 5th, which is International Cyclic Vomiting Syndrome Awareness Day. Hence the shirt, the blue nails, the blue everything, and the theme is blue. But today we'll be looking at the Glenna satchel in ink blue. So there you go. Let's look at it from the outside first. It does have a nice big pocket out on the front and the back. This particular bag or time frame when they were making them, it doesn't have a Vera logo on the outside. So it really doesn't have a front and a back. So you can pick. I just picked this randomly as a front. I added my little mini tote with the turtle on it because it has the blue background and I have inside there my hand sanitizer, just a little Bath and Body Works pod thing. So put that in there so it's convenient. And then this little blue, he's a shark from Six Flags like four years ago or something. Anyway, super cute. I just threw him on there because I thought it was fun. So I'll probably take him off after today, but there you go. All right, so two big handles, nice strap drop. It's got the metal hardware. It does not have Vera Bradley printed on it like some of them do, but that's fine. And the buttons do have a VB, so the little rivet or whatever it's called has a little VB on it. So that's kind of a nice touch. It also is an older pattern, so it has that trim, coordinating trim on it, which I really like. I think it's really tasteful, and it, it gives the bag a little something extra, I think. Attention to detail. All right, let's open it up. First of all... I, this is not in the bag, but you know, if you're not familiar with the Glenna, it has like from down to about here, there's just a top part. I have my sunglass case up there, but it's kind of a deep zipper. So you have all this extra bag on top that's really kind of unusable. So when I'm running around just day to day all day, I usually leave this unzipped. Today I had it zipped for this video. So you can see it holds easily everything in it. And then I just had my glasses sitting up here because they need to go back in the truck. So I didn't want to forget to put them there. But since we have them out, it's in a lotus flower swirl. It has a lot of that royal blue right in the pattern, which is cool. But I love the blues and teals. And I kind of just like the pattern, it's pretty. So inside, I have a pair of Vera Bradley glasses. And these are in pop art. The front is like a clear blue and then the multicolor sides, so. Pretty fun. Um, they're kind of my standard March 5th sunglasses, but I wear them other times. Um, I've been using my Vines Floral because they're polarized, but anyway, here you go. So I'll put those back in and set them off to the side. So in the front pocket, I have my phone and sticking with the theme, I picked my most blue phone cover, which actually is the Kiev Paisley um, Matryoshka doll image. So I really like this image and it's got the purples in there too and the rim is more blue it's just well worn so it looks kind of more subdued than it did in the beginning but I still like it okay actually I can put that right back in there okay next let's see inside is a pattern palooza theme being blue so I just kind of went with whatever struck my fancy as I walked around the Vera room so in here we have a tech case in Ellie Flowers, this is a padded uh, cotton one. You got inside is actual tech stuff. So I have a charging cord, a plug, a screen wiper, and a battery charger, or a phone charger rather, whatever, USB external charger. And that's it, so tech case for tech. Then I have a brush and pencil case. This is an older style. It's kind of like that little bit of triangular shape to it. This is in Moon, um, sorry, Midnight Blues. So blues in the pattern, but also in the name. And it is one of my favorites all time. So there you go. Inside this, it's the gum and mints. So not super full, actually it's pretty skosh, but I've got three different flavors of the Listerine breath strips. I've got some cinnamon extra and some cinnamon oxalates. Pretty, pretty straightforward. Next we have a wallet. Okay, this is the Audrey in Bramble. Obviously it has a lot of purples, but look at all the blues. Um, and I hadn't thought about that till yesterday when I was looking for blue patterns. So inside, I'll just cover up my ID card, but you got a whole bunch of card slots and there is one, two, three, four, five, six, plus the clear window. And then inside you have this big slip right here, which I have full of junk. This is my shopping list, which, you don't need right now, I just got done shopping. 
Then you have two card slots on each side here and here, and a big slip between. And then interestingly, the opposite side facing has three more on each side, so three and three, which is pretty cool. So there's a lot of room for cards, but I, I don't know. They're not the easiest accessibility. It's fine, it totally works. This is the first time I'm actually using this wallet and it's the only one I have, but I like it. And then I just put my money in the zip pocket, so I always know where to find that. That means that I don't have a coin slot on this wallet and that's okay because, okay, snap close. Because I got out my, my favorite little mini kiss coin purse, which also is in Bramble. So you can always find the coin thing, just reach around blindly and that shape can't be missed. Okay, so this, and actually this one, are part of a three piece pencil pouch trio, which I got from the paper store. They are a thin nylon. I mean, they're they're sturdy, but they're just nylon. They're not light enough. They're not padded. They're kind of like a windbreaker material. Let me just reach over here to grab the third one that I'm not using. So this is the large. You have the medium one, and then you have the small one. So three different patterns and three different sizes, which is all very nice, actually. And I just didn't need that size, so I left it out. So in the small one, by the way, they do clip together. They have this little metal thing, and on the one I'm not using, of course, has the quick release ring that you can use with it, but I don't need that in my purse. So this one is Romantic Paisley, obviously, and in this pouch, I just have a reusable mask. Now, please, before anybody freaks out and starts going, ah, oh, coronavirus, that zip to do with that, not at all, but it does have to do with me and my health, I'm not contagious, I don't have any bugs going around, but I don't wanna catch them. So when I go into certain environments, I do have to protect myself because I don't wanna spend a month puking due to my cyclic vomiting. So there's a little awareness piece there. Um, so not everybody's corona, beard, whatever. Not that I don't have a healthy respect for it. All right, the bigger one, this is actually my catch-all, what would normally be in my cosmetic bag. Um, but it has a couple extra things. So I grabbed this Lotus Flower Swirl coin purse and inside it has a spare hand sanitizer. Again, I just always have it with me, but the other one was getting kind of runny, so I don't know if it's just old or whatever. So I just wanted to have a backup and I just wanted to use this coin purse. So I put it in there anyway, it's just silly. Then I have a manicure kit in Moonlight Garden and it says, your nails are fly. So that's cool. In case you haven't seen it yet, here's the inside, just a little manicure kit. So I've got that in there. I've got some like Motrin Tums, migraine meds. Yeah, that's it. I've got a nail file, some Aura Gel, because I had a toothache the other day. I can actually take that out, but I still have my lotion, some EOS lotion as well, band aids, eye drops. Got some handy wipes. These are just cleansing wipes. They're not antimicrobial or anything. They're just like a, a Walmart brand or something. Just for travel. And you never know, you need to wipe up your hands for some sticky stuff. These ones are lavender scented wipes. Some dental floss toothpick doofers. Chapstick. Carmax chapstick. Mascara. Hmm. Forgot I had that in there. More lotion. A comb and three rubber bands or hair tie things. That's it. So it all fits in here great. I really like the construction of this bag because you can just dig in there and find what you need. The opening opens up really nicely. So it's you don't have to be all like precise fitting and formatted, just throw it in there and off you go, which is great. Just give it a shake, zip it up. There you go. And because it's loose and has space, you can reshape it to fit where you want it to fit, which is nice. And then, okay, so that's it for the middle of it, but all these pockets. So the Glenna has three slips on one side and it has a zipper on the other. So if you're going by that and normal Vera construction, the zipper's on the back and the slips are on the front, which is why I chose this. It doesn't matter. For me, it's just all about habit patterns, so. There you go. In the zipper, I have keys. All right, so denim, obviously, but it's not the regular blue that I would think for today. But I did 
find a snow lotus keychain. And unfortunately, it doesn't showcase the blue in the pattern very well, but it's a bold, vibrant royal blue mixed in there. And this is the, oh shoot. This is the only one I have of this keychain, but it's the double something. So it's got three rings on it. The bottom one here on the end has the quick release. So that's where I put my truck key because I can just grab that off. This is the shopping tag bag charm. And then that's just on that loop, which by the way, unsnaps so you can loop it onto things. I took the loop that was on there and just left this loop. So there's a spare loop sitting around. And then on this end, this also unsnaps and you can take those keys off to do whatever with them. So very functional keychain, and actually for what I'm using it like this, it's perfect. So I go to the mailbox, I just take that part off. Yeah, you leave the truck running. There you go. So we'll put that back in the zipper. That's all that's in the zipper pocket. And then in the slip pockets, right here, on the far one, I just have my Bose wired headphones. Then I have in the middle one, this is not Vera, but it's a really pretty um, business card holder from Korea when I was stationed there. So it's got to play, I, I've never used it, it, just sits in my drawers. I finally pulled it out. It's just beautiful business card holder. So I put those in there and a notebook, same notebook I had for my last bag, but it has some blue in there and it's the one I'm, I've got some notes in it for ongoing. So. I kept that one in the bag. And then I had fun. Um, if you watched my last What's in the Bag, I had a bunch of purple pens because it was all about the purple. Today it's blue, so I swapped out all the pens. And we'll take a look at which ones I grabbed. There were more than I needed, of course, which is fine. Well, let me put all this stuff back and then we'll do the pens. So it all just fits right back in here any which way. It could be more ordered, it doesn't have to be. <laughs> oh, that can go last tech case, this, I don't need that one. There we go, see, it all fits great. Okay, so pens and pencils. I got the Seahorse, of course, mechanical pencil. It's out of the Spring 20 medley. And I also, from the same set on the pen side, got the gel pen with that as well. And this is like the fat gel tip, it's fine. So, got those two. And then I got the Pop Art in blue, which is a different style of gel pen, a little finer point, which is nice. So I feel like variety of different pens for different things. I sometimes do, and I might as well use them, right? So that's great. And then I had a whole bucket full of blue options, but the Catalina blue struck me because one, I've never used it, and it's blue in the name, and it's blue in the pattern. So it's a twist to operate pen, just a ballpoint pen, great pen. And then this one, this is another thing I, I haven't used yet. It comes from a set, I think there's like five, maybe six in the set, and it's highlighters, but it has two ends. It has the chisel tip end, I grabbed the blue one of course, um, not only for the color of the highlighter, but the pen itself is the Moonlight Garden one. And then the other end is a fine tipped highlighter. So if you're like doing underlining highlighting instead of like highlighting the whole thing, really cool. So I really like this style of highlighter. Um, I don't need a whole lot of highlighting, but I figured I might as well throw it in the bag in case I need it for something. So there you go. Really kind of fun prepping the bag for today because I usually go by form fit function or something, but today was a little bit of a fun adventure in color. So that's cool. And it was great to have options to pick from. So I could probably change bags every day this week and <laughs> not repeat, but anyways. All right. So that's it for this one. That's the Glenna in ink blue and cyclic vomiting syndrome awareness um, was why I chose blue. So if you want more information on that, I'll link the other video down below. And other than that, come here. She keeps looking at my elbow. Come, come say goodbye. There you go. Hey, Kelly says hi and bye. <laughs> Take care. Bye for now.